And we said, I wonder what these companies are worrying about. What's keeping them up at night? Well, they listed several risks. And I expected right away cost of money. Believe me, it appeared everywhere. Cost of capital. It was everywhere. But what surprised me was what was in the top 15 of those risks on virtually every one. Number one was water scarcity. Whether they were manufacturing automobiles, they were delivering cosmetics, or they were producing chocolate, they were worrying about water scarcity in the next 20 to 30 years. They were also worried about fuel instability, both in pricing and availability, because they're all seeing the same thing, that we're approaching or in the retirement age of uh, carbon fuels. They also were saying climate change is a big issue. That's all Davos talked about was climate change and how it was affecting not only agriculture, but transport, uh, supply chains in every aspect. They talked about unexpected transparency now that social media has caught up. It's hard to be a bad guy and not have somebody post it. Dramatically growing markets, particularly Asian, African, and Indian. Um, a highly unstable but resilient global economy that's becoming more dependent on developing nations than it is developed nations. And forced accountability for the supply chains vis-a-vis -vis Apple, Nike, you name it. They're being pushed in all directions for their value chain, even if they don't own it. And diminishing availability of raw materials, which I talked to a little bit. And it, it was, uh, uh, this accountability was the more, one of the most remarkable things. And take a look at Nike. All the stuff that Nike produces, they don't own one factory. Everything's by contract. And it's pretty shocking. And they're held accountable for everything they produce and all the human factors, issues that might arise in those factories. Now, it's a pretty amazing set of risks. So, how are they dealing with it? Well, they're, they're having to take into account all of those issues, and they're starting to do things in a different way. And I'm going to talk a little bit about business management, because I said this was a session on good business management. Number one is their strategies are now fully integrated with four basic elements, social, environmental, economic, and ethical. The companies that are beginning to go through massive trans uh, transformation are making this integral to their strategy. So they're not in a position where they're saying, you know, we need to create uh, part of our corporate social responsibility is we'll create a foundation, give them $10 million a year, and let them go out and do great things. Not any longer. They're now responsible for, for they're making the decision in their mind that they're fully responsible for the s building social, socially sustainable communities all over the world in which they operate.